My running mate said the other day there's some polling places around the country where there, where there's voter fraud, and the media got a little amped up about that. But don't kid yourself. Voter fraud is real. It takes place in pockets and polling places around the country. The Trump campaign raising concerns about the possibility that there could be voter fraud out there in this election. Peter Ducey is live in Washington. So, Peter, what do we know exactly about how Trump thinks the election results could be manipulated this time around? Martha, we just heard from Trump's campaign manager, and she did go into a little bit more detail about how they think it could happen than her boss did last night. He's been reading stories about irregularities, massive vote fraud uh, on the rolls anyway. You've got millions of people, apparently, we read the stories, millions of people who are dead who are still on the rolls. You certainly have irregularities. James Carville is quoted in today's Washington Examiner saying, of course, there'll be some fraud. So it's not without basis. And there may be some reason for concern based on anecdotal evidence, like a National Review report from three years ago citing stats from the New York Department of Investigation, whose undercover officers were able to vote as dead people or felons dozens of times, only getting flagged and stopped 3% of the time that they tried, Martha. So how many ballots are usually found to be fraudulently cast in a national election, Peter? Very few of the in-person ballots, which is what Trump and Pence are mostly talking about. But in the last national election, 2012, there were a little more than 129 million total ballots cast, and 943,000 and change ended up being rejected. Those were all either provisional or absentee ballots or ballots coming from citizens living overseas. And the number one reason for rejection was that the voter either didn't send their ballot in on time, missed a deadline. Uh, the rest mostly have to do with signatures not matching. So there is a system in place to catch inconsistencies, and it has done that hundreds of thousands of times. But Trump is alleging that there are far more not being caught and that they're all against him. Martha. All right. Peter, thank you very much.